Welcome, welcome to another episode, episode six of Apollo for Dummies. It is November 7th, 2018 at 1030 a.m. We have a lot to get over, so let's start off by mentioning to you guys that we need you to follow the uh, Apollo Currency Facebook group. Make sure you get in there. You can ask questions. You can answer questions for people. Really good community with currently 522 members. Make sure you follow us on Twitter with with, uh, at Apollo for Dummies and also the main Apollo Twitter page, which is at Apollo Currency. Make sure you guys follow. And speaking of following, let's go ahead and thank Lincoln Continental, Crypto Bros, Mr. Bergen, John Romanter, Semfan, and Bjorn S. for being our new followers on the Twitter. Uh, No new followers or subscribers on uh, YouTube, so go ahead and crush those uh, subscribe buttons. Remember the Discord link down below in the description for if you want to join our group or not. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the price, shall we? Uh, our area of operations is pretty stagnant. The last trade was at 5.30 a.m., so uh, about five hours ago. Uh, that is a volume problem, my friends. We need more volume. Very, very low volume. Look at this. I'm showing the people on the YouTube the graph here, and it is... I know it's early, but the volume is only 4.3 million so far. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the differences uh, in our area of operations from yesterday to today. At 24 Satoshis, there is 200,000 coins less for sale, which is good. However, at 23 Satoshis, it's 1.3 million more coins listed for sale. At 22 uh, Satoshis, which is our current price, our current value, uh, we have 3.6 million coins up for listing, which is, uh, or up for sale, which is 2.2 million higher than yesterday. Going down to 21 Satoshis, it is at 7.3 million, which is 2.8 million lower lower than yesterday for purchase. At 20 Satoshis, uh, we're at 3.4 million, which is 900,000 coins more for purchase. And finally, at 19 Satoshis, we are 400,000 coins lower for purchase than we were yesterday. All in all, the totals, it looks like uh, there has been 3.7 million more coins listed for sale at our area of operations and uh, 2.3 million less for purchase in our area of operations. So we went the wrong way, both in red and in green. So if you guys uh, are looking to get some coins, let's go ahead and give you your advice now. I would say to... I think we still push the 22 Satoshi mark um, because if you do list uh, that you want to buy coins at 21 Satoshis, it's going to have to pass 7.3 million coins before it gets to you. However, if you want to play it safe, go ahead and throw your purchase coins that you want to get on that 21 Satoshi mark. Uh, Just understand that when you put that on there, you will not get your coins right away. You'll have to wait until 7.3 million, almost 7.4 million coins get purchased. Um, Let's go ahead and move over and quickly mention that we're giving away an Apollo coin, not a digital one, a physical one. Um, With this coin, you can prove you're involved with one of the best cryptocurrencies on the market. You're not just an Apollo fan, you're an Apollo not. Uh, Apollo to the moon. Uh, No more than two per customer, and I purchased two yesterday. One I'm keeping, like I mentioned, because I'm greedy, but I'm going to give the other one away. How do you enter? Well, those members of Twitter that followed me know how to enter. They followed on Twitter because that is one of two ways to enter to win a physical Apollo coin. Follow on Twitter and be a subscriber on the YouTube. So if you're listening on Podbean, iTunes, or Spotify, ensure that you come over to YouTube and hit that subscribe button so you can enter to win your coin. As far as breaking news, there isn't any. So very, very fast segment there. There is no breaking news. I do believe if we go over here to Telegram, um, yep, nothing. Uh, So nothing to mention there as far as news goes. But I want to talk to you guys about Hermes 1.0 because Hermes is what is coming out any minute, any week, any month. I believe it'll happen before the end of the year, so it's really close. A lot of you might be saying, well, what is Hermes? I know that it, it... creates Apollo transactions to happen within two seconds, but what is it? Well, we're going to go over that right now. It is our our point of the day, essentially. Uh, Hermes is essentially a blockchain. Well, what is a blockchain? 
Uh, a blockchain is a growing list of records or blocks which are linked together. It's like a DNA strand. That's how I want you dummies to think of it. It's like a DNA strand, okay? When we first started and we are currently using a fork of NXT, NXT is another crypto coin, okay? It's another, it's a whole nother thing. NXT is like APL, all right? So we are currently using a fork generated from the NXT coin or cryptocurrency company. Um, it is a piece of a blockchain. So when I say fork, it's not a whole blockchain. It is just a portion of NXT's blockchain, which were created our essentially whole blockchain. So we took a piece of a DNA strand from NXT and we use it here at Apollo. Well, Hermes is a new blockchain that will be the beginning of a piece of our new DNA. And as, uh, as transactions happen, as things happen on Apollo, it will essentially overtake the current NXT blockchain or records that we're currently using. I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions on that, put them down below. We'll go over those tomorrow. But that, that's a pretty simple way. The whole DNA strand is a simple way of discussing and um, understanding a blockchain. So let's quickly just go over yesterday's questions and comments from uh, the fifth episode, and then we'll be well on our way. Um, and then we'll talk about what we'll mention tomorrow. So over here on, a, uh, on, on the YouTube's uh, episode five, by the way, the comments coming in from uh, Podbean, iTunes, and uh, Spotify are very, very well thanked. So I appreciate you guys spending your time over there. But the questions and comments from YouTube is this. Mac P says, I don't think OKEx is going to delist the fastest coin in crypto. Well, once Hermes is implemented, we will have the fastest coin in crypto. So you're right. I don't think they would either. But because it's possible due to our, like I mentioned, slow volume, uh, it's always a possibility. Luke P says, thumbs up for the people that want to do a bit of trading today. Use APL and Ethereum. Um, more chance to sell and rebuy smaller amounts. I do like that idea, Luke P. It always helps our volume. Um, Jose G, I hope it stays low so I can buy more and more. I, You know what? Thumbs up to that, brother. Um, because uh, buying more is, is what all of us individuals should want to do. Colin A, first-time caller, long-time listener. Nice throwback to the uh, 90s. Appreciate that, Colin. Mark Inns, another great update on Apollo. Thank you very much. Livewire says, smash that like button. I just did on that comment. Uh, Vandy89, nice coins for sure. I agree. Elliot P, great podcast today, Kevin. Oh, this is a good one. He called me Kevin because he was talking to his cousin at the time named Kevin because I asked him, uh, who's Kevin? <laughs> uh, BNR, OKEx is not available to US citizens. No, it is not. But every exchange helps and OKEx is one of the greater ones uh, so it would help, I assume, um, in volume once we get listed. So hopefully it happens, uh, you know, within the next couple of months. Psy420, the opening tune is rocking. Thanks, buddy. I do appreciate it. It's one of my favorite songs. If you don't know who sings it, that is Godsmack. And the title is, uh, I think it's Blast to the Moon. Or no, it's called Moon Baby. So check that out. Listen to the whole song. You will like it. Uh, why can't we get past in the 20s sats. Well, we will in due time. John R. Learning from your videos. Just followed the Twitter also. Yes, John, we did shout you out and I do appreciate you uh, following and entering that giveaway. Uh, David D. Apollo, the only coin that doesn't move one way or another. Well, we will fix that with the volume issue that we have in Adam B. As always, the thumbs up from Adam. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure you guys, if you're listening on iTunes, give this podcast a five-star rating with a nice comment. It will help us and uh, show other people um, you know, that might be using iTunes what Apollo is and why they should get on board. Uh, we're just under 10 minutes, just around where I wanted to be for today's episode. It is light on news. In other words, no news. Let's go ahead and mention what we're going to talk about tomorrow, shall we? We're going to talk about Paxos Standard, uh, the coin that we're going to use for our decentralized exchange. If you want to learn more about Paxos Standard and that decentralized exchange that will be implemented uh, for Apollo, stay tuned for episode seven. Uh, for episode six, I'm out. I'm, out. I'm done. And uh, I appreciate y'all being here. We'll see you real soon in around 24 hours. Let's take a blast to the moon, baby.